Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Sir Cypher here with Let's Play Warhammer Mark of Chaos, and we're on the last mission for the book one. I'm just going to do a couple more things, because after we finish this mission, it's actually going to be a while before we have access to the armory and um, all these other things. So I'm going to buy Stefan a horse, even though um, he can't. we're not going to use it this mission, but now we can have him ride if he wants to. And uh, we got a lot better sword from fighting that. Um, orc, so I guess we'll sell this even though it was a uh, very <laughs> took a long time to buy it. Um, other than that, the other thing I'm going to get is we have another new unit we can get now, which is the Knight's Panther, um, which is a uh, the, uh, Empire Heavy Cavalry. There's actually multiple different variations of knights. They all have the same uh, statistics. Um, there's Reichsguards, there's Knight's Panther, there's Knights of the Blazing Sun. Uh, there's all sorts of different little knightly orders that the Empire has that provide it its heavy cavalry. Um, I think in the new rules, actually, some of the some of the uh, knights have different rules, but in this game, they all have the same rules. Um, so now we will advance on the stronghold. Somebody asked, "What's the if huntsmen are just not as good?" at range combat as handgunners why what's the point of them and as somebody said in the thread they can stealth so i'm going to show that in this mission um this chaos occupied fortress must be retaken we must breach the wall storm the castle captain feldstorm is an expert so we will listen to him closely um so we're going to take obviously our friend the bright wizard let's make sure we have all the abilities right now we just have the fireball and the flames on the ground that do uh, damage over time Stefan's got his two abilities that buff the armor and the health of his unit and upgrading his Storm of Steel, which is his AO AOE melee attack. So we're going to bring the knights. We're going to bring one unit. Oh, nope. What What happened there? So we're going to bring the knights. Uh, we're definitely going to bring the swordsmen. Those are going to be our heavy hitters. And we're going to bring a new unit of handgunners because we need to get them some experience. And then we'll also bring the huntsmen and the knights. All right. Never been in a siege? <laughs> Only on the inside of a castle. We don't have time for a long siege. More and more marauders could arrive any time. You'll have to assault the walls. It's bloody work. Very bloody work. My cannons can only do so much. Bring down a wall if it goes well. You'll have to go in. Through the walls or over them. The battery is sighted, Captain. We're trained on the base of the wall and the ramparts. Very well. Be prepared to commence the bombardment on Captain Von Kessel's order. Yes, Captain. We'll give him a heavy storm and no mistake. All right, so here we are in this siege mission. Um, we have two cannons that we're going to get to control, and then we have Captain Feldstorm over here with his great swords that we can't control. Um, I really like the character of Captain Feldstorm just because he doesn't really t seem like to have personality. He's just a guy with the cannons. Like Stefan makes a joke about the siege, and he's just like, well, okay. Uh, you know, we got a siege to run here. So... <laughs> Uh, we are going to we shoot the enemy's defenses with our cannons, the and then we are going to bum rush over this wall. At least that is the I plan. Uh, hopefully it'll work. Now, I'm going to use the Huntsman, um, because people asked. Forward, Your grandchildren will be taught of the day the Empire cast the shadow of chaos from these lands, and you shall be counted amongst those blessed. Or you will be able to say, I was there! Forward to victory! You can attack a castle at its weakest points. However, victory is secured by seizing the most vital positions. My cannons will turn these walls to rubble, Stefan. So yeah, cannon battle. We await your orders. Um... The other way that you can use, well, there's a thousand ways you can do to fight enemy cannons if you can't see them, is I like to use cavalry to just run around because as you can see, the um, these rounds take a really long time to land. So uh, 
It's pretty easy to get cavalry out of the way before they get hit. Cannon ready, my lord. And you can just run all over the place. So we just got to take that guy out. At the same time, we'll bring um, word, bring uh, sleeves up there. So the enemy actually can't see these guys as long as they have the little stealth thing, which is basically if there's nobody near them and they are not, um, they are not shooting. So if they're shooting, they get revealed, and if the enemy gets too close to them, they get revealed. Okay, so tower's gone. We also blew a hole in the wall. Um, As the gods decree. We'll shoot it. We'll shoot at these guys a bit. Death and glory. On the left. I come from Move the out. colleges of magic. And uh, take out these little scrubs in front of the wall here. And once that's done, uh, we'll have Stefan uh, run in here with his sword Sigma sword dudes. I am needed over there. One thing I do like about um, this game, another thing that it does well, is the artillery indicators. Um, the artillery indicator starts off green, and as it gets closer and closer to red, it means that the unit is getting closer and closer to firing. Oh god, this cannonball is going to kill some of my guys. Oh, phew, no, it went over their head. Um, so if you're shooting at people, and uh, they're about to get into melee, you have an idea of... Uh, if the cannonball is going to ram into them, you know, like while you're fighting them. And it also is just a good reminder. Because a lot of times, for example, the Total War games, you forget like what your cannons or catapults are shooting at. And then they launch a trebuchet round into your own unit. And it's no fun for anyone. Matches lit and Blast them apart. So I like that. So these axe throwers are here. And I'll finish those off. Now the enemy is going to keep trying to sneak dudes around the side here. So we're going to have to stop that. Um, but we don't have a super large amount of time. So uh, once we once we uh, have cleared all these guys out, like we have, it's time to more or less do this. So we'll put these guys on run. Probably also turn on the uh, the shield parry. And, uh, oopsies. We're going to charge in here with these knights to, uh, break this charge of these marauders. Empire knights are actually pretty good. They're not, they're not as good as chaos knights for the most part, but, um, they're no, they are no, um, strangers to a fight. So they are pretty good. I think Knights of the uh, Panther are like the least cool knights. I think the other knights look a lot cooler. So yeah, we're coming up onto the wall, fighting all these guys, throwing them off the wall. And at the same time, the enemy knights look like they're trying to come, come through here. So uh, we might have to stop that. What are your orders, my lord? And I'm actually going to put my uh, my hero in the regiment because then if he uses his little flame shield, he can protect the whole unit with it. So yeah, my swordsmen are up here fighting these axe throwers. And also, they're going to run in here and fight these axe throwers too. You can't see them, but there's axe throwers in this tower. And our guys should be able to... I oh shit. Where the is okay, whew, they did it. Okay. Oh shit, over here. My, my, my handgunners just got straight up charged because I wasn't paying attention. Turning on the flaming shield. For some reason though, the handgunners are not being counted as in melee. Because this game's kind of buggy. And they're still shooting. So that's good at least. Um, over here we got axemen. Which are fighting my um, archers. We'll get rid of that. My guys have taken this tower. And now they can run across here. And knock these guys off this edge of the tower. Theoretically. Um, 
We'll see if they do. The foe shall rue the day they Come on, Stefan. The There's still a lot of knights left. Kind of worried about my hand gunners. We await your orders. But it looks like they're going to be okay. My swordsmen will not leave this tower. So... I will just run out the bottom here. And just take the victory point. I shall lead the army forth. Glory to Over the here, my hand gunner is unexplicably killed. <laughs> All those chaos knights. Um, so that's good. Not exactly sure how that happened. This is the thing we actually have to win to uh, capture the win. Um, the enemy is coming over here to stop me, but I don't think they're going to be able to. Especially because we'll bring the knights in as well, just in case. And looks like I'm going to cap this castle. So there's still some guys on the wall and still some guys coming out, but um, we capture the victory point, so that's all that really matters. Um, so that's how sieges work. Uh, with the powder barrels. The Oop. We cannot breach the walls without them. Three is yours. I didn't notice. It looks like two guys. <laughs> I'm so bad at this game. Uh, it looks like on the mini map, two guys are coming to attack the cannons just as the map ended. But hey, we won, so that's all that matters, right? So, uh, not quite uh, as lopsided of a kill count this time, because sieges can be a little rough. Von Kessel, make your report. It was a grim battle, Count. The northern scum resisted until the end, and we lost many men in the fighting for the walls. There's not much left to salvage of the keep, I'm afraid. So, rather than taking Gotrung, you have leveled it, Von Kessel? It would have been better to take the fortress intact, Captain. It will take much work to make this place ready for use again. If we had stormed the ramparts over the piles of our dead, would that have been satisfactory? Your insolence does you no credit, Von Kessel. Must I listen to your constant yapping? If you think... Enough of your excuses! You will remain here until I can find something useful for you to do. Something more suited to your attitude. Now, take me to Captain Feldsturm. Count Otto von Gruber. I am the Marshal of the Reichlander Guard. I come from Nuln with messages from the Emperor. Reich's Marshal Trenkenhoff? The man that led Magnus's knights at Kislev? The same. And now Grand Master of the Bodyguard to Emperor Magnus. Stop groveling, Von Kessel. You'll get mud on your tongue. Messages from the Emperor, you say? These wouldn't be orders, would they? The Emperor is first amongst equals, Count. You know that. He sends requests to his cousins, not commands. Of course, if the Emperor feels that it is better allocated elsewhere, his support for your cause might vanish. So, can you give me a short version of these requests? Our allies from Oathwan, the Elves, have sent more aid. We have learnt that a great number of Chaos-worshipping thugs are even now marching south out of Kislev. An ambassador from Oathwan, an acolyte of the Loremaster Teclas, has been isolated by the enemy, near to the Nordland coast. What do the Elves need us for? Lore Master Teclas is found at the Colleges of Magic where he is training battle wizards. If you feel tempted by their services in the future, perhaps you could earn yourself good favor now. Battle wizards, you say? Hmm. I shall go myself to meet with these elves. No. You are to move your army to the east where the enemy's numbers are greater. There is rumor that there is one amongst their ranks seeking to unite the tribes again. Send a portion of your force under your best man to the elves and take the rest of your men eastwards. Go through Nordland to rescue the elves? <laughs> I pity the poor fellow who gets that thankless task. Stefan, my boy, perhaps you should meet with this emissary. You have a better manner with strangers than any of my other captains. The elves shall see the worth of men of the Empire. <laughs>